All right, hello everybody. It's Cruiser Mike here. So today we're gonna be installing a module here so that way I can put CarPlay on the new 2023 Street Glide ST. Basically hacks the system. That way you can go ahead and put CarPlay off of your phone. You can run all your apps. Um, I post to Harley. Harley wants to charge you like two grand, 100 bucks right here. So you got the module and then I got a wireless CarPlay adapter. That way it just Bluetooths to my phone completely hands-free no cords no nothing so this is what we're going to be installing here in a bit we're getting the tools out and uh i'm going to go ahead and film the install it should probably take less than 30 minutes but it's be a little walk through and yeah stay tuned all right so first thing we're going to do we're going to remove these three screws off that hold on to the windshield and then we got two screws on each side of the fairing we got one down here and another one here we're going to be using a torx 27 to remove those screws here so the other side right here we got one right here underneath the mirror and another one here so in total four plus three is seven so seven seven screws or bolts whatever you want to call them we're going to go ahead and remove these real quick get the fairing off that way we can access all the wiring and connect the little module all right so these are the tools you might need we got a torx torx 27 little ratchet with an extension we're going to go ahead and remove these three bolts first So the orientation the two smaller bolts go on the outer ends this big one longer one goes in the center so now we're going to go ahead and remove this windshield it should just come right out just like that put this aside make sure you don't lose your bolts okay now we're going to remove these ones here let me take this one out right here. Oh, I don't want to touch the paint. You notice that fairings are starting to come loose here in a bit. So just be careful when you guys go ahead and remove these bolts, that bearing might fall off. So just be conscious of that. You don't want to drop your pretty new fairing on the floor. It helps to have an apprentice to hold a fairing. <laughs> Good. Uh, I think that's the Harley parts. That big one's probably you. Thank you, sir. Okay, you lift up this fairing, and then we have to go ahead and remove this clip here that holds on the light. I'm really good at breaking these, so make sure you don't break these pops right out make sure you set this down somewhere safe where it's not going to get scratched or kicked so up and out of the way okay now we got all that open this is what it looks like okay I believe we're going to go ahead and plug it into here so let me get the module this is the part number you guys can look it up I got it on Amazon it was like 12 bucks pretty cheap you actually don't need the Bluetooth you can go ahead and put in this module and you would have to hardwire your phone through the USB connection up inside the fairing in the little pocket 
So we're going to remove this cap here. This go ahead. This basically overrides. Uh, it, it makes it trick the computer into thinking that there's an intercom, and it basically activates your card play. But this thing only goes in one way, top side up. This little clip's going to go up. We plug this in here, and since that's kind of already out of the way, I'm just going to leave it there. And that's pretty much it. Now on the other side. You open up this little door here and you got your USB right here is where you would plug in your USB that would plug in your phone and you can actually hardwire it with a phone mount but that looks kind of tacky so if you want a real slimline installation you get yourself one of these little Bluetooth adapters I got this one on Amazon it was actually on sale I got a Black Friday deal I only paid 60 bucks <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw the finger you probably did but I think he paid 80 for his so that's why he gave me the finger but you plug this thing in here just like that there's no button or anything so we just shove this thing back in there make sure it closes so these are the instructions here for this Bluetooth so basically all you got to do is turn on your Bluetooth on your phone, your device. Um, you go ahead and have your Bluetooth on, your Wi-Fi on. So let's go ahead. If everything's done correctly, which was pretty easy, all we got to do is go ahead and turn on our ignition. You get your phone out. And you go to your Bluetooth. Open up your Bluetooth settings. And you search. Yeah. You go, there it is right there, the smart dongle. We go ahead and pair. Pair. Allow contacts and favorite syncs, allow. Okay, we should be paired there. There's the Bluetooth device, smart dongle. I think everything should be working now. It says here, use CarPlay. Use CarPlay. You go ahead and allow. And take that address out that way you guys don't know where the hell we're at but um you go ahead and go back to the home menu and there you go you got carplay all wireless my obviously my phone's not connected here there's no usb if you disconnect this adapter you can go ahead and hardwire it you only need to spend 12 15 bucks with shipping and taxes included that way you can go ahead and put carplay instead of paying harley like two thousand bucks you're going to go ahead and save yourself all that dough and you can do it here i did this whole setup for eighty dollars it's convenient you can go ahead and put your phone in your pocket you don't need to mess with it so you can go back to the carplay you can go ahead and check out all your apps you can go to your phone, your music, your messages, now playing, Harley Davidson podcast, news, everything. Everything's on here, just like if you would in your car. I would put a disclaimer in there also. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Since you don't have intercom, <clears throat> you would not be able to use the text or the calls. Phone. Yes. So you might want to say something about that. That you're Well, not... you're saying it. I'll just leave your, your okay. input in there. Thanks for the input, Senor. Yeah. So you can go to Google Maps if you prefer maps. Um, I just use regular maps, to be honest with you guys. I prefer Google. It seems it, like it's, it's preference. More you could put yep. Waze, Waze or whatever. Whatever you guys use. But let's see here. I'm going to play something here real quick just to make sure you guys can make sure that it actually plays. There it goes. So... I'm not only going to play a few seconds because then if not, I get a copyright claim. So it works. So now let's go ahead and turn this thing off, put everything back together, and we're done here, boys. I got another video coming up soon. Um, more about the Street Glide. We're going to go ahead and film that next, but stay tuned for the reinstallation of the fairing. So let's pick up this fairing here. thing about this fairing here is we got these four clips. These four clips... They go ahead and line up on the fork assembly here. So you make sure you line those up. You bring in your fairing. You line up at the bottom. Make sure you plug in your headlight. Because if not, your headlight isn't going to work. Hear that click. But if you can tell, you line up the four 
clips there on the bottom push this fairing forward and it sits on there just like that we're done there so right here we're gonna go ahead and replace our bolts I believe the short one goes on the bottom yes make sure you guys start these by hand you don't want to strip your threads if you use an impact uh, I guess you save yourself time but you run the risk of messing up your bike and then it's just gonna cost you more money so I recommend you just start these things by hand it's a lot safer it'll mess up your bike and you guarantee an install Mm -hmm. So, you see, I'm tightening up here by hand. I'm going to go ahead and tighten these by hand, and then I'll come back around and give them a little torque down once I get the other side on. Long screw goes up top. Make sure you push your fairing forward a little bit, that way it can grab. We finish screwing this in here. Make sure you get the right angle. That way it goes in nice and straight finger tight like this see I'm not even using my hand it should screw in by itself there shouldn't be any need for it to get stuck you shouldn't have to apply a lot of force screw should go in there basically by itself if it's giving you a hard time you're doing it wrong you run the possibility of stripping your threads long screw goes up top put that thing in there start it by hand okay now what a good friend taught me is it's easier to go ahead and put these bolts in first that way it kind of lines up your windshield now if we get a close look up here you can actually tell that in here these threads are made out of brass so it's a soft metal you run the possibility of stripping the threads damaging them and it's just gonna cost you more money to fix it so just don't use an impact don't be lazy just take the extra minute yeah you'll go ahead if you tighten it with an impact or you strip the threads it'll actually it's like a nut cert so you'll actually separate the brass from the fairing and it'll just free spin and you know you messed up and I don't know how many thousands of dollars Harley's gonna charge you to go ahead and fix that so it's easier just to go ahead and start them by hand just like that this one as well now you leave them loose that way you can go ahead and grab your windshield if you notice that's a uh, LSR Lone Star Rally you go ahead and line these things up here so these three line up where the bolts go. So you literally just push this thing in and then this should pop right in. Might need to loosen it just a little bit. Just like that. Let's loosen this middle one just a little bit. And there we go. Make sure you tighten these things back up by hand. Okay, now you're going to grab your ratchet, give them a really light torque, you don't need a whole lot, just nice and tight, just so they don't vibrate loose. You don't need 100 foot pounds of torque on these damn things, because if not you're going to break them. So, just give it about a half turn, once you feel it snug up, give it a little bit more and that's it. You don't want to overdo it, because now you'll break it. Once you feel it snug up. Right about there, you just give it slightly more and you're done. I'm We're almost done. Just like that. Make sure everything's nice and tight. If you 
you go for your first run, you may want to recheck. These things tend to vibrate a lot. Harley Davidsons are famous for vibrating, so just make sure you check your bolts. Make sure they don't vibrate loose. You don't want to lose a bolt going down the road. But that's basically it right there, fellas. Now that we got everything on, let's just make sure it should automatically connect now. I shouldn't have to do anything. So let's just double check here. Let's see, accept. Give it a second for it to load up. Check my phone here. Let's see what it does. Where's it at? It's already connected. There it is. It just takes. Um, we're done. You notice we're out here in San Antonio. So, yeah. That's basically it right there. Save yourself a couple thousand dollars. You just hide this little adapter in here. Make sure it's out of the way. Close that up. And we're done. That concludes this video. Stay tuned for the next one. The next one's going to be pretty fun. Some good stuff coming out. So thank you guys for watching. And like and subscribe. And look out for the next one. Thanks.